where we left off, I was trying to get rid of this halo around my background mountain. And I used my magic wand with contiguous turned off or turned on. And it still captured parts of the mountain that I didn't want it to. So that has to do with the tolerance. So to, to change that, I can just deselect Command D. And I can just do small smaller selections, right? So right there, that did a pretty good job. So then I just hit Delete. And it cuts it, cuts it out. And it cuts it out with a super hard edge. Now the super hard edge gives you this stair step effect. And that's not all that believable to the naked eye. So look at how much of that super sharp edge cut off from the mountain. So instead, I'm going to deselect again. And this time when I'm on the selection lasso, I'm going to look at the tool options and I'm going to see that there's something that says feather. And my feather option is for zero pixels. That means that there is just a sharp edge. I'm just going to change that very simply from zero to one, <laughs> to one pixel. And then when I use the magic wand and I select, it will look the same in the selection. But then when I hit delete, it will soften it slightly. And if two or if one pixel isn't enough, I can try more. But this is kind of the way it goes. So I'm going to do, let's try two pixels. Again, this is the background. I'm going to use my magic wand. I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to go back to my lasso and then hit delete. And I'm trying to get it where it's not biting away so much. The other option is to just use the lasso with the feather, like so. And then you'll see how it softly erases it. And then I can hit delete multiple times to softly erase it. So I think I want one pixel. Let's minimize this. I think I want a one pixel feather on the lasso. But for my magic wand, it's always going to be super sharp or not unless I use what's called the select and mask option. So let's use the magic wand over here. It's still selecting too much. So I'm going to lower my tolerance from 32 to 12. And then I can always modify the selection with my lasso with the feather by holding down option to subtract that and holding down shift to add it. Oh, but I got the mountaintop there. So let me subtract the mountaintop. This is a particularly hard thing to select because it's got such a strong contrast on the two sides of the mountain. But that's a nice cutout there. But it still leaves little debris. So you can definitely use the magic wand when it's helpful. But when it's not, just use the lasso, but be aware that you can feather your lasso tool, which can be really helpful. And with organic material like this mountain, I could always just recut the mountain to a shape that I like as well. I can also take a selection like this and then use my arrow keys and move it to take away a little bit more. And then what's nice about feathering is you can hit delete multiple times and it will keep softening your, your selection and erasing from it. And I do have my tablet plugged in just for this kind of reason. So if I need to get I'll use my tablet this time. If I need to get kind of a better edge, 
Sometimes it's easier to draw it with a tablet than with a mouse or a trackpad. And it gets easier and easier with practice. I'm going to try the magic wand again because there's a pretty big difference between these pixels and these pixels on this side of the mountain, this edge. But it has this little kind of optical glow. So I still think, yeah, the lasso is the easiest way in this instance. And we're going to see that probably change with other parts of my, with other layers, especially when there's lots of undercuts. Okay, so I've got one side of the mountain there now. Let's see if that's overlapped. Almost. I need to cut away a little bit more. And I'm leaving it pretty sharp. It's just a one pixel feather because it's always easier to soften than it is to try to get a, a sharp edge again with pixels. That bright sun. I believe all of this is covered up, but just to be sure. All right. Now let's work on the, the little hazy halo over here. There's another way to do it too, which is to just select it like so. I can hold down shift and add to it. I'm going to up my tolerance to 22. There we go. I can't just hit delete. Because there's parts of the mountain included in it. So I'm going to select it all like so. But then anywhere that it cuts into the mountain, like here, I'm going to use my lasso with my feather, holding down Option, which will subtract this from the selection. Anywhere my magic wand got a little too aggressive. And right here, hold down Option. And if you have trouble seeing where the edge of your mountain is, that's why the computer is having trouble. Sometimes these edges can be hard to decipher, especially in the background. So you can use Shift to add to the selection. And you can use Option to subtract from it. So taking the time to get a good selection makes it a lot easier later. And with that lasso tool, you can use the feather option. Okay, just a few more areas to avoid. And then to add, I'm basically just tracing this whole mountain. Now, instead of hitting delete, because it's already soft, like I did here, what I could do is use my eraser at 100% opacity with that soft edge and kind of just push in with that eraser. So this is using your selection as as a stencil because it won't ever let you erase the thing you don't want but that that cloud is so warm and different than the background that i could also play with its levels and i could darken it a little or lighten it a little i could actually use color balance and make it bluer 
which would help that mist match the background. And I can use hue saturation and actually give it more color by clicking on colorize if I wanted to and shifting its color to what best matches. I think it's about there. And you see, then it doesn't matter so much if I erase it or not, because the color is already matching pretty well. All right, then I can deselect. And if I don't think I got everything, like there's a little bit of a ridge here I probably want to erase more, I can go back to my history before I deselected and the mask will still be there. And then I just erase. Command D is a good shortcut for deselecting. All right, so that's one layer cut out. Out of many. Let's see what's next. Now these mountains, I'm gonna start with, with levels. I'm gonna save my work. Hit Command S, saves it as a, a PSD file to where I've been saving it. And I'm going to go to Image Adjustments, start with Levels. And I'm going to either, whoops, on the wrong layer, cancel. Image Adjustments, start with Levels. I'm either going to shift the midtones brighter or shift them darker. And I think I want to shift them just a little bit brighter and maybe limit the shadows a little bit. Okay, next I get to play with the color. Sometimes these direct adjustments are pretty slight. I'm going to go to color balance. And I'm going to put a lot more of the kind of blues and the cyans into the midtone color. And that's already helping. Helping it to match. And my idea is to, to really warm up the color as I move forward. So I don't want to get rid of all the yellows and oranges, but I want to change the temperature of the color that was there. So before color balance, it looked like that, much warmer. After color balance, it's knocked back and matches the mountain behind it a little bit better. Now I'm going to go and play with hue saturation. Let's just shift the hue a little bit to each side and see if that makes a difference. It's obvious kind of which way to go. I'm going to go a little bit to this side. I can play with the saturation. Things generally get less saturated as they go backwards, but it depends on how intense the color is. So I'll just desaturate a tiny bit in the reference that you're using. And now I can use my magic wand, select that blue sky halo, hold down shift, try to get all of it. If I hit delete, it's just going to be a really, really sharp division. But if the colors are matched pretty well, then that can look pretty good. It's a little sharp, so what I could do is use the magic wand again. Computer is very good at selecting empty space, and then go to select and mask. This is a way to add feathering to the magic wand. But it's a little involved. It used to be simpler. So what I'm going to do is put my radius up a little bit and put my feather up a little bit. You know, just about one pixel. And then say shift edge up about 
3% or so, then say, okay.